Welcome back to the show. Today we're going to show you how to use the Pentax K1000. This is an extremely easy camera, 35 millimeter camera that is uh, just made by Pentax, K mount, and so on. It shoots 35 millimeter film, so you need a 35 millimeter film and that's not being exposed. It can be color negative like this one, it'd be slide or black and white film. So let's start with the camera. First thing is first, on the top, let's start by the anatomy of the camera. We have the lens on the front, which to remove, we have to press this little lever towards us. So press it towards us and, uh, and turn it sideways. You wanna hold the whole lens, take it off. And as you can see on the body, there's a little orange dot here. And on the lens, we have an orange dot here. To put it back on, we do the same, but the other way around. So we put the lens here and then turn it till we hear a click. There we go. So that's for the lens. It's Pentax K mount, so make sure you use Pentax K mount. You don't want to use the screw M42 or some other mount that you might find. There's a lot of lenses made by Pentax and other manufacturers. This is a 50 millimeter 1.4. This is what we would call a normal lens and a uh, prime lens because it has no zoom and it has a 1.4 a maximum aperture. So the lens itself on the front, we can see here the aperture. So we have 1.4 and this little uh, orange diamond is indicating the aperture so we can move it f2 f2.8 f4 has half clicks f5.6 f8 f11 16 and 22 then for focusing we just have to move the front of the lens uh, turning it one way or another we have indications in blue for feet and yellow for meters so infinity all the way down to 0.45 meters or a little bit less than 1.55 feet. Um, for focusing, you're looking through the lens. So uh, you look through here and you have a circle on uh, the middle of the uh, viewfinder that has like micro prisms. So you'll see some little crystals that look like they're not properly in focus when you're not focused and when you're focused it will look all the same so that's how you basically focus on this it's an slr camera so you're looking through the lens um, on the front we have a pc port so this is for flash if you want to use a cable you has a pc port but you can also use the flash on the top which is a hot shoe so this has electricity every time you take a picture it will shoot it has an X to remind you that it only has flash sync at 60th uh, of a second. So where the X is. Uh, so that means that if you put it too fast, you'll have half a flash sometimes and you can shoot at 60th or less. Uh, but you can is basically leave it at the X for flash sync. Then uh, the camera has straps. So it has strap lugs on the sides. And on the bottom, we have a battery chamber, a tripod a socket, and a rewind button. Let's go through them. Tripod, just normal small tripod screw. For the battery, it uses an LR44, and I'm gonna use a coin, a 100 yen coin, which is what they made them for, but you know, any small coin will work. Unscrew the battery compartment. You can see there's an LR44, take it out. See the battery compartment. You have to see the plus, so drop it in, put the battery top, Make sure you don't try to jam this too hard because you will break the threads. They're very small threads. So sometimes it takes a little finessing to get it there. Just be careful when you put a battery. The battery only uh, makes the camera have a light meter. So it's a fully mechanical camera. If you don't have a battery, it's fine. You just need to know what you're doing with the light meter. Then these are the shutter speeds. So we have all the way from one 1000 and one 500th all the way down to one second and bulb. Bulb means that I take a picture and whenever I release, I stop taking a picture. And then the advance lever is here. Always be careful with the advance. Uh, you wanna advance and help it. You don't wanna do the advance and let go because that will make the internal suffer. And these cameras are pretty old. This is the frame counter here and this is the ISO dial. So. If you load a roll of film and this one's ISO 100, which is what we have here, we would lift the ring and then change it to either higher ISO, let's say ISO 400, like something like there, or we go back to 100 and this will change the light meter settings. Uh, this is the rewind lever, but let's go ahead and load it. For loading it, we have to pull this out and then push up like you see there. And now when I pull it, you'll see the door open it has a little bit of a spring to it and one thing you want to make sure if you have a new k1000 is the light seals that go across here and also on the door hinge here 
have been replaced. One thing to note is it has a little uh, push button here, which does, shouldn't have light foam, like a light seal. So make sure for that. So for loading, we grab a roll of 35, we insert it in there, and then we have a, like a basically some slots here. So we have to th throw the front, like the front of the film, the film leader in there and advance a little bit. There you saw it didn't engage properly. So let's try again. So I'll put it back in there and then basically advance. You might have to take pictures in between. And I'm doing a terrible job of loading it, but basically it shouldn't be so hard. We can also remove the roll of film. Go ahead and push it in there and see if that will help. Let's see if that will help in our loading. Yeah, now we can see it's loaded. And once it's there, you basically can close the door. You don't want to have a lot of film, so if you need, you can push this down and rewind a little bit there and close the door and we want to hear a click there we go now we can shoot and advance we are in bulb so let's turn it to like a 500th of a second so it's a little faster shoot advance and you can see it's advancing shoot advance one thing to note when you uh, load film is this should be turning so if this is not turning something's gone wrong shoot you see turning and that's uh, advancing and this we should do till frame number one and now we're ready to uh, start shooting do remember whatever film you use if it's 36 exposures will give you around 37 if it's 24 give you around 25 26 and that's all you need to do to start shooting um, you want to know in the light meter so the light meter is really simple it has a plus minus which i'm going to draw here and a little arrow on the middle so the arrow if it's in the middle exactly it means it's properly um you know metering and you're correctly exposed if it's under you need means you need more light so slower shutter speed or bigger hole so 1.4 is a bigger uh, opening than 5.6 and if it's too high it means there's too much light so you need to stop down to like a closed uh, aperture or faster shutter speed. And yeah, that's basically all there is to the K1000. It's a very, very simple camera, um, being recommended to students for decades. Uh, they sold, I think, over a million of them, so there's so many of them. They're a really decent camera and fun. The price has gone up because of people recommending them, but if you do pick one up and you're new to it, I hope this video helped you. Like I said, you look through the viewfinder and there's not much else to it. One thing to note when rewinding, let's say we shoot the whole roll, and we want to rewind it, but I'll do videos on how to unload. Basically, when we finish, we have to press this button, lift this, and turn it uh, in the arrow, so clockwise. And we have to do it till we feel there's no tension. We can't just open the back. If I open the back right now, I would be exposing all my film, which is here, and that would ruin all my pictures. So make sure that when you take a picture and you're advancing and you finish and you notice there's no more film, You'll notice the advance gets a little hard. That means that you've run out of film and that's when you can rewind, okay? So I hope this video helped you. Uh, let us know in the comments below if there's any questions you have with the Pentax K1000. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.